what's going on YouTube I am back with another video and today I have my uh, November card show recap uh, awesome show guys the most busy I've ever seen uh, my local show uh, which is in Winchester Virginia never seen it this packed really fun a lot of purchases pickups and uh, made the biggest sale I've ever made in person in person um, I'll get into that later, but I might jump around. There is some footage, guys. Not a ton of footage, but some good footage. Uh, it'll show that how big the crowds were in one or two of the videos. So, yeah, pretty insane, actually, on the crowds. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, first off, some stuff that I've gotten out of group breaks um, recently. Uh, one of the guys there... Um, is a group breaker um, and sells wax at the shows and I uh, had some stuff waiting so from Bowman Sterling I got a Kanan Smith auto from a group break of triple threads I got a Nico Horner base uh, actually that's for later uh, a Bobby Witt base Trevor Larnack to 99 blue to 50 Christian Robinson uh, Joe Adele Relic, and I actually sold a Francisco Alvarez auto for, I think I sold it for 25 bucks. So, fun stuff there, nothing crazy, but cool to get some stuff while I was there. Uh, also opened some more Panini Contenders blasters, opened two more, I also have another one left over. Um, biggest hits were a Denny, uh, base rookie, which is pretty cool, um, I know he's one of the top prospects. Uh, the autos out of the two boxes were Daniel or Oturu, which is, I think is like a $15, 10 to $15 auto. And Zeke Naji, uh, I think this does close to $10, so eh, not bad. Alright, now I'm going to fly around, guys, um, and I'll go into why I bought what I bought and uh, etc. And just stories and whatever. I'll try to be quick, but you know me. So first off, I saw this, and uh, someone's a friend actually has graded stuff for sale, and I could not pass it. I actually got this for $10. It's a Logan Davidson class of 2019, BGS 910. Uh, just missed a gem on this one, but um, I believe he was a first-round pick, and it's from 19 Bowman Draft. So for $10, uh, BGS 9 with a 10 auto, I'm not going to pass that up. I could easily get $20 on this, so I was pretty happy with that. Saw this for five dollars. I took off the price tag, uh, which was on the team bag. Uh, Junior Fernandez, clearly authentic auto for five bucks. Um, absolutely, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. If it's clearly authentic and it's not an absolute Ryan O'Hearn bum, then I will probably buy it. So another one I can probably get like ten dollars on. I bought a, or excuse me, a Topps Heritage Miners uh, box to open. Uh, myself and I opened it with my parents which is actually really it was a really cool experience and fun on um, the big hits out of it were a Bryson Stott auto that does about 25 bucks a Wander Franco relic which I really like might keep that actually but um I'm not sure what that mark is that's not on the card though probably on the inside the top loader um this does about 15 bucks and I actually had an extra relic in the box it's a uh, Joey Bart it's probably five not even ten dollar relic but still cool um top prospects right there i grabbed this for ten dollars i thought it was just cool um a 52 tops uh fred hutchinson uh really good color on it it'll probably only grade like a three but or maybe even a two and a half or so but uh still really cool um yeah i like it it's pretty pretty awesome i i didn't have any 52 tops and it was a tiger which i'm a fan of the vintage tigers because i'm from michigan but now i'm a modern nationals fan as most of you guys know so yeah pretty cool uh pick this up um for 40 dollars i was not gonna pass this i picked up the magnetic it wasn't a top loader just to make it look nice number 15 of 49 from national treasures 2017 a Max Scherzer Relic Auto to 49 For $40, I was not going to pass up on that. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, I sold my other Scherzer Auto for like, I don't even know, close to 60 I think. So I wasn't going to pass. 
And now, guys, into the big deal of the day. And uh, this barely has anything to do with it. Um, I sold, you guys know about my PSA 10 Trout Autograph. You guys know, if you watched my video recently, of my Yordan 2 of 5 um, Relic Autograph. I sold those uh, for $1,300 in value. Um, I wanted to pick up a new Trout Auto. The auto on the PSA 10, it just wasn't bold. It was, I just, I loved it, but at the same time, the autograph was streaky. Um, it, it just wasn't enough for me. Um, I wanted something to replace it. And the Yordano I was willing to work with since a lot of people are bullish on him. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Um, but I can always get those two back if I ever really in dire desire if that makes any sense to get them back but i also uh it was 1250 it actually probably came out to 1270 and then uh, i got these uh, added on um uh because i found them in the, the my friend's boxes he's older but uh he does the shows um uh first i got a trey turner auto from 19 donruss this is uh he had listed or priced at 15 he'll always work with you but um i thought that was a really cool card i always want to turn auto especially after him going off this year uh this was kind of a throw in i just saw it and i liked it ronnie mauricio he could be good one day um another one he had lifts at 15 and then this one is really cool it's a Corey seager tops inception auto numbered uh eight of 25 yeah he had that listed at 25 bucks. It's uh, from 17 Tops Inception. Um, really like Seeger now. Um, that might be one that I hold, or I'm not sure. But yeah, guys, so pretty crazy day, honestly. Um, I'm used to maybe every now and then, you know, at this point, getting a close to $1,000 sale done. But, you know, I think it, he paid like, I don't know, 800 in PayPal, and then it was like, 450 or something like that or something like that in uh, cash so pretty uh interesting experience guys um but i do hope you guys enjoy the footage uh i will have some wax boxes that i got at the show as well those will be going up on the channel soon those breaks i actually did pull some really really cool stuff actually got another fairly big hit so I know you guys will enjoy that. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the footage. Um, shout out to Tidewater Cards and Collectibles uh, for hosting the show. Fourth and Goal for, you know, always helping me out with the wax end of it. Um, doing a little sponsor video with them. There's some business cards of some of the people there if you ever want to check them out. Um, there's like another like card show kind of thing in Annandale, Virginia, if you're interested. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Uh, and yeah, take care, guys. They sell for 10K. <laughs> Fourth and goal, always showing out. Just stuff here. Mini helmets, expensive basketball. As always, not because of him, just the market. Just in case. Clearly. Some pretty cool stuff. There's another table. Just absolutely busy. A lot of comics this time, which is weird.